Diversifying its audio lineup, the new Razer Barracuda X aims to deliver a versatile wireless headset that works on everything from PCs to Android devices. Featuring a USB-C wireless dongle and some tech from the popular Black Shark V2 line, the Barracuda X is priced at $99 and delivers a high-performance headset. So let's dive in and take a closer look at the Barracuda X from Razer. Thanks for watching 9to5toys! Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and we do have the Razer Barracuda X today. Razer did send the Barracuda X out to me to check out, uh, but they are not sponsoring this video, so they have no say in what I say about this headset. So as a wireless headset, it does come with this little USB-C wireless adapter. It's using their hyperspeed wireless. So you can plug this into your PC. Uh, you can plug it into an Android device, a Nintendo Switch. You can also use the headset on uh, PlayStation as well. And then they also include a 3.5 millimeter cable. If you do wanna use this on like a you know Xbox controller or something like that as well, you can plug it in and then also obviously listen to other media devices as well. So it's meant to be a very versatile headset. It's also using some tech from the Black Shark V2 lineup. Uh, so first off, let's take a look at the overall design. Razer took feedback from fans and reviewers to create something that was a little more subtle when you're not sitting at your battle station. While the triple-headed snake logo is visible on the outside of the ear cups, they're blacked out and there isn't any RGB to be found on the headset. The Barracuda X also forgoes the helicopter-inspired design of the Black Shark lineup as well in favor of a more traditional design and size adjustment setup. For better comfort with the headphones removed, the ear cups do rotate 90 degrees, though it places the drivers outward instead of resting on your shoulders like I typically prefer. All the controls are located on the left ear cup. From top to bottom, we have a microphone mute toggle, the volume dial, and a power button. Then you have a small LED status light, a 3.5 millimeter out, USB-C port, and the mounting point for the HyperClear microphone. Really, the design reminds me of a mix between the Opus and Black Shark headphones. They've added the Razer logo on the outside of the ear cups, but overall they have a pretty modern, minimal design like the Opus and the Opus X. Razer has also been intentional about making the Barracuda X pretty lightweight, so it is easier to take with you when you are gaming on the go. Coming in at 250 grams, the headset feels light and easy to transport. There is some considerable clamping force, but thanks to the angled design of the drivers and plenty of padding on the ear cushions, my ears didn't come into contact with the driver covers. The cloth cover over the foam ear cushions isn't as soft as what a leatherette cover might be, but on a more budget-minded headset, cheap leatherette covers are more prone to wear quickly and break apart, so I prefer this cloth wrapping over the ear cushions. The only complaint that I have here is that there is just a little bit of rattle in the headset uh, in the left ear cup, so if I tilt my head like, I don't know, like 30 degrees or something like that, I can kind of hear something rattle in there. And if I tilt it back, I can hear it go the other way. And so under most gaming scenarios, most situations, you know, this isn't something that I actually hear. Uh, I was just playing out the headset and ended up hearing that. And I'd be surprised if this was the case in every single headset, you know, it might just be a fluke in this one, but it is something that I definitely wanted to point out because it is a bummer. We already talked about the connectivity some. Obviously it works on PC, it'll work on Nintendo Switch, it'll work on PlayStation, it'll work on Android devices, thanks to that wireless dongle. Uh, and then you can also use it on lots of other devices with a 3.5 millimeter cable. And while it doesn't have a Bluetooth connection, I mean, this is like this hyperspeed wireless is hands down the better connection for gaming because it is basically zero latency. So you don't have to worry about that latency that you would sometimes get if you are using a Bluetooth connection. All right moving on to how they sound. So they are using the same Triforce drivers that we found in the Black Shark V2 lineup. Split up into three parts for different frequency ranges, Razer's Triforce drivers were highly regarded and perform well on the Barracuda X as well. Across all frequencies, the Barracuda X sounds clear and powerful. On the low end, there is a noticeable boost to lower frequencies that make for a very fun sound signature when gaming and listening to media. The low notes on Solar Sailor from the Trown Legacy soundtrack had a deep rumble without overpowering any of the other frequencies. Mids are kept under control and remain clear. Sometimes the boosted lows can creep up into mids with other headsets, which makes things muddy, but I didn't notice any of this when listening to the Barracuda X. And while the mids are scooped out slightly, uh, guitar riffs on mids by Protest the Hero remained clear and easy to pick out. 
High sound push forward a pinch, which I'm sure is intentional for enhanced clarity when gaming. And while on some music tracks this might not sound the best, it really is great for gaming with gunshots and footsteps being easier to pick out. And moving on to gaming with the Barracuda X, it's really a great sounding set of cans. Stereo separation is great, making it easy to pick out gunshots, footsteps, and communications and which direction they're coming from. The boosted low end adds some fun flavor for intense action games and makes impact sound big and full. When playing Call of Duty Warzone, that stereo separation made it easy to pick out the direction of incoming opponents and gunfire as well as pick up game critical sounds. I did sometimes get just a little bit of white noise coming through the headphones when I had them powered on but no media playing and turning the volume dial on the headset itself seemed to kind of bring that up and down but increasing the volume on my PC or decreasing it didn't seem to make any uh, difference as well. So that wasn't really something that came into play when I was actually you know listening to music or gaming but when it was completely quiet that is something that I could hear occasionally so uh, something to keep in mind with the Barracuda X. And just as important as a good sounding pair of headphones is a good sounding microphone. And Razer is using that same hyperclear cardioid microphone that we found on the Black Shark V2 lineup on the Barracuda X as well. While it's still not as full and natural sounding as a larger dedicated microphone like the one I'm using to record this video, it doesn't sound as thin as some other gaming headsets. And if you do want to tweak the sound of your mic on a PC, be sure to check out our tutorial on making a gaming headset microphone sound better for free. And here we'll do a quick sound test of the microphone on the Barracuda X. All right, so here we are testing the microphone on the Razer Barracuda X. Uh, it has a little bit of boost on the low end, uh, but still remains a pretty clear overall microphone. It's not gonna give you the same sound as what a dedicated microphone like this will, uh, but overall for a gaming headset, I think it's a pretty decent sounding microphone. For battery life, I mean, because there's no RGB or anything up here, you know, eating up extra battery, the Barracuda X can still get up to 20 hours, even with that lightweight design. So that's very commendable for a gaming headset and is right on par or better than a lot of the competition. So overall wrapping up here, I mean, Razer has delivered a really great sounding headset at a pretty reasonable price as well. For gaming, the tuned drivers deliver great separation and positioning for picking out footsteps and other critical sounds, as well as that super fun sound signature with a nice boost in the low end. And thanks to that comfortable, lightweight design, I can easily wear this headset for hours at a time when gaming. And with that microphone removed, it does have a pretty clean and overall subtle design compared to a lot of other Razer gaming headsets. All right, and that'll do it for our review of the Razer Barracuda X. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys.